Hey guys, Mike here on another episode of the Skate Life After 40 here on the Toast Box. The first thing I want to do on this episode, uh, out of everything else, is I'd like to thank the local skateboarding community, um, especially the local old guy community. Uh, any, just the old guys that I've been skateboarding with here over the past six months since I've gotten back on the board. Not only are they an extremely supportive group of guys, um, they're just a damn bunch of good guys. That's all I'm going to say. Most of all, I would like to thank Shane Salty Douglas uh, for helping me this past Saturday during the situation which caused this beautiful thing to happen to my face. Uh, Shane, thank you so much for hanging out with me and uh, making sure that I had everything lined out before you bolted out. I really appreciate it. Had you not been there, I think that I would have been freaked out 20 times worse. Uh, it would have been a really stressful time, so thank you. On that note, uh, as you'll notice, I no longer have the perfect, beautiful smile I once had. We were up at Carpenter Skate Park in Thornton, and uh, near the end of our session, uh, Shane and I were the only two guys really left there. Um, there were a bunch of kids there, but Shane and I were the only two old guys really there skateboarding. Though it wasn't a, uh, a difficult uh, board slide by any means, um, it, it definitely wasn't, uh, I'm not going to say it was super easy. I got about halfway down this board slide, uh, my board went cockeyed and my face immediately went forward and hit the angle iron coping in front of me. As I was falling, I mean, it almost happened in slow motion. Uh, as I hit the coping, I could see one of my teeth explode in a pile and a, just a, a poof of dust. Um, immediately, people were asking me how I was doing and I didn't answer anybody. I knew it wasn't good. I immediately had blood coming out of my mouth, so I got up and headed over to the car. Again, Shane, thank you so much for helping out with with everything that you did, man. I really appreciate it. He, uh, he helped clean after, up after me, actually. Uh, I can't tell you how appreciative I am of that. Long story short, I did a board slide to face. Luckily, I was wearing my helmet. Now, um, I'm not gonna be, uh, I don't wanna be anybody's mom, I don't wanna be anybody's dad. Uh, I wear a helmet when I skateboard. I, I don't always wear it when I'm skating the street out in front of my house, but if I'm at the park, you're more than likely going to see this maroon monster on my head. This, on Saturday, is the only thing that saved the rest of my beautiful face. Now, um, my helmet's a little bit different than others. I do have a brim on mine. Um, had I had a regular helmet on, I'm not sure <clears throat> how much more extensive the damage would have been. This though, kept that rail off the rest of my face. Uh, I did not damage any of my mouth, any of my jaw, all I did was break teeth off. I got extremely lucky. I did cut a big piece of my lip off too. They had to sew a bunch of that on. That's some of the mess too. Um, so anyhow, uh, I'm just saying, Brain injuries are a crappy thing. Uh, face injuries are crappy too. Let's just say I think helmets are safe. Um, and I have enjoyed the fact that most of the guys that I do skateboard with do wear these things. And the younger guys don't give me when I do. So that being said, I'm gonna put this away. I just wanted you guys to know that uh, it would have been a lot worse had I not been wearing the helmet. Uh, in this episode, basically, you're gonna see the skate session leading up to this. I didn't have, uh, I, I, fortunately or unfortunately, I did not have the camera turned on for the accident. Uh, I, I wish I had the footage for you to see. I'm glad I don't have it for me to see. Uh, the angle it was at, you would have seen everything very clearly. Uh, fortunately, I guess I just hadn't hit record. Uh, what you will see at the end though, is the closing that I did record on the drive home uh, on my way to the ER. Well, actually on my way to the house to clean up so we could go to the ER. Um, <clears throat> so you will see me in a little bit of shock. You probably will see me a little bit stressed out. But hey, this is skateboarding. This is skateboarding at the age of 45. If you don't think this can happen to you, you're 
you're out of your mind. Um, uh, and, and I know. Um, I'm not going to say that I'm the best skateboarder in the world, but I'm certainly not the worst. And it, it, it happens. So again, I hope you guys enjoy the skate footage that you guys see today. There is uh, me in there, Salty's in there, uh, Todd and Scott, uh, a couple of the older guys that I skateboard with are in there as well. So here's the video. <laughs> Hey baby. Well guys, I don't know if it looks as bad as it feels or the other way around. <laughs> On my way down to uh, urgent care after smashing my face as you guys saw in the video. Uh, I'll give you guys medical updates as it goes. Um, so as you saw this week was pretty slow. I only got out to a couple skate parks. Uh, 
So enjoy the video. I hope you guys are enjoying the skate life after 40. This is what can happen to you guys. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing. Tell your friends about it. Otherwise, you wouldn't get to see shit like this. I mean, for real. No, seriously, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you out there on the uh, at skate parks. Keep ripping. So, as you can see, uh, I had a really good day skateboarding with some really great guys. Uh, it just ended badly. <laughs> so, anyhow, thank you so much for watching, guys. I can assure you that I am fine, other than having to get some new teeth and having to deal with a little bit of discomfort and having to eat baby food for a while. I'm going to be quite fine. I will be back out on the skateboard. I'm just not certain what my headgear situation is going to be. Uh, motocross helmet is definitely coming into mind after bashing my face on that because that, folks, has never happened to me. Uh, that is a first. Uh, I have hit my face snowboarding uh, while doing board slides and tree runs and things like that. I've never done it on the skateboard. So, it's an eye-opening, uh, it's definitely an eye-opening event that will make me uh, reconsider the headgear that I'm actually wearing. So, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Skate Life After 40 here on the Toast Box. I really do hope you guys are enjoying what you see. If you do, consider hitting that like button and also possibly subscribing. Uh, not sure when I'm gonna get out next, but when I do, I can assure you, I'm gonna bring you guys along. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Keep ripping.